We don't read and write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race. And the human race is filled with passion. But he also hit her with his car and broke her legs. He is a 10, but he also poked holes in their condom so he could keep her. He is a 10, but he also tried to drown her. He is a 10, but he also dreams about the multiple ways that he could unalive her. He is a 10, but he also chained her up in his basement. He is a 10. But at their first encounter, he almost threw her off a cliff. He is a 10, but he also put a shock collar on her. I always think it's so funny when people say things like, books are great, but you should really try to have those experiences in real life. I think the fuck not. Flashback when you met me, your buzz cut and my hair bleeds. Even in my worst times, you can see the best of me. Flashback to my mistakes, my rebounds, my earthquakes. Even in my worst lies, you saw the truth in me. I woke up just in time, never wake up by your side. <laughs> house you're never going to meet anybody and you're going to be alone all the time oh no sorry let me let me try that one again <clears throat> oh no where you go i go what you see i see i know i never let them eat cake that's such nonsense i would never say that i guess if you say so I'll have to pack my things and go That's right, hit the road, Jack and Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more Hit the road, Jack and don't <laughs> Why the man on the mic sound a little thick? <laughs> Oh, hello, praise the Lord. Why would I make them so uncomfortable? It probably has to do with your reputation. I have a reputation? They feel your methods, your theories are... Spooky. Do you think I'm spooky?
She's really not that special. She's just a stupid girl. I'm thinking something symbolic. Maybe find a bathtub to drown her in. Full circle kind of thing. Give me the world to me. I love you so much. Say something. Fuck you. Hamilton wrote the other 51. How do you write like you're running out of time? Right day and night like you're running out of time. Every day you fight like you're running out of time. Love the taste of nothing. If you're one of the people that are hating on the actor that's playing Nikolai in the new Shadow and Bone season, shut the fuck up! You haven't even seen him act yet! That's the whole point! Also, he's absolutely gorgeous, you fucking haters. Shut up and watch the show first, and then I want to hear your stinky ass opinion. Just be glad it wasn't Tom Felton. Yesterday, let me tell you something. Zendaya was taking care of her two little white boys, okay? I literally was in a theater where you could order food and drink, and I ordered a water, and my friend was like, girl, you just told him to come in here when they're about to get down and dirty, and I was like, oh, shit. They delivered on a silver platter, babe. You know when people are watching a game of tennis and their heads are going back and forth like this? That was me the entire damn time, because I did not know who she was truly messing with for, like, half the movie. Also, the camera work was insane. There were points in this movie, y'all, where you are the tennis ball. I thought I was gonna get vertigo in there. It literally makes you feel like you're playing in the matches. I know they were saying this during the press run too. It's like this movie's not just about tennis. It uses tennis to tell the story. You'll only really get what they mean if you go see it. Overall, I was not bored for a second. And nowadays, that's hard to do for me. This is truly Zendaya's year because out of the top three movies I've seen so far this year, she's in two of them. You were tossing me the car keys, but the patriarchy keychain. If you like the sweet, soft, gentle type of MMCs, then this book is probably not for you. <laughs> but if you like the more unhinged, possessive men, then I got a wreck for you. The book is Feathers of Blood by Ivy Black and Raven Scott. And oh my god. <laughs> this is the first book in the Feathers and Thorns series, and it is a mafia romance. This man gave off major toucher and you die vibes, so of course I ate it up. Okay, let me set the scene. This book follows Carter and Bella. Our FMC Bella is currently working for like a really crappy guy, but she's kind of just trying to get by so she can pay for her dad's medical needs. So of course, in comes our man Carter. He sees Bella and he's like, yep, I want her. <laughs> and they basically make a deal that she can quit her job and come work for Carter instead. This book had amazing spice and plot. I was so intrigued the whole way through. I loved it. And this book is available on both Amazon and Canon Limited. You might say it looks sort of blue. Blue. Oh. Do you know where 
where John Steinbeck got the title, The Grapes of Wrath? I'm gonna tell you. It's from a hymn, The Battle Hymn of the Republic by Julie Ward Howe, where one of the later verses goes like this. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. How cool is that? Also, did you know that Stalin banned this book for a while in the USSR because it showed that even the poorest Americans could afford a car? And this is the book that made the mother road, Route 66 famous, that over 2,000 mile long highway that goes from Chicago to LA. Now, I have a forage painting of this same book. You're not gonna wanna miss this. It's been rebound, a red crimson Morocco leather, but watch this. As I open up the book, you will see the image on from the title page showing them on literally Route 66 going out west. So that forage painting is really cool. So which one do you like? The one with the forage painting or the original copy with the original dust jacket? 1939. Tell me in the comments.